In this example, I want to uh, give you some idea about how to assign <coughs> the deform uh, effector to the uh, special object. For example, I create a plane and uh, yeah, that's the plane. Make it editable, go to the point and with the life selection, you can turn off the soft selection. I explained them before. Make a things. Yeah, as you can see, this is our soft selection that you can <clears throat> select it like this. You can make the strings a little bit. Yeah, for example, this is not important. Okay, now we want to animate this point. We want to animate it. As you can see, this point level animation, you have to turn it on. You have to turn it on and then click go for example to the, this frame and make it a down k-frame and as you can see the we, we can animate the points and after that bring them up that's nice i just want to give you an example and that's it okay you can uh select all of the frames here and make them step. Oh, we have to select all of them. Nice. You can uh, select them all and holding control to copy it from here. We want to repeat this animation. That's it. Okay. Now, as you can see, this plane has an animation with point level. It is turned off, it is turned on. As you can see a line goes up. Uh, I will be explaining more animation in next series of lessons. Don't worry, but it is there. Uh, you can assign effector, delay effector to any object that has animation. As you can see, you can make it directly to the as you can see, they are purple, like a deformer, so you have to make it a child of the object. And let's animate it. Okay, so we have nothing special here that you have to change the uh, parameter of that. Make them strings and a spring mode. Okay, and it does not work. Another important thing is, if you use effector to object you have to go to the deformer because they are acting like deformer okay deformation object no it does not work why because we don't deform whole object we deform point turn it to the point and now as you can see this is our spring and delay nice Go to the effector, you can make it. Make a little higher frame. As you can see, the animation is stopped, but this is our delay. So you learn another thing about delay and a deformer. If you use the object that I give you example before, you can turn it to the object. But if you animate the points of any object, that you have to turn it on, then turn it to the point. So this is, for example, for delay. You can use, uh, for another example, you can use uh, deformer, for example, the formula for animating a plane. For example, this is our plane. And uh, for example, in this way, you can assign the formula factor to <clears throat> simulating a flag animation. Make a child, go to the deformer, of course, point. And as you can see, you can animate the point. Go to the formula and parameter, you can assign the scale. But I think in the position, <coughs> you have to, I think in this mode, no, uh, yeah, in this mode, you have to assign the animation to your plane. 
so you can make it as you can see you can of course animate them height and width nice go into the formula and increase that for better wavy things nice and interesting part that it is you can go to the linear and as you can see this is our linear you can uh, rotate it in this direction and control the uh, formula effector with that linear you can animate this and so imagine how interesting work you can do for example you can change it to the box right you can do a lot of interesting work with that of course you can modeling the object with that for example you can assign the common def uh, plane defector deformer or effector here and for example uh, make it a linear and deformer again point and as you can see you can go to the parameter and change the direction of that like this oh i think it's in a bad direction in this direction as you can see you can uh, modeling that with this situation you can go to for example this model and to plane or you can for example change the inner offset strings and remapping it in anything that you want i explained it before you can make in a contour any different shape that you want okay for example sign so as you can see you can model your for this you can use for example a uh, subdivision surface nice so imagine how interesting work that you can do with a deformer nice the contour you can reset it and add any modeling as you can see you can modeling your object very interesting uh, reset it <clears throat> i want to approach interesting square mm -hmm. maybe this you can delete this such an interesting one or you can control click to copy that and no no in this situation no it's not correct sorry go to the field another linear field and rotate that linear field in for example another direction make play with the direction as you can see you can modeling interesting shape with a deformer and of course we can animate them so i just in in this lesson i just to give an idea how interesting work you can do with the remapping of the clo uh, the fields and use lots of fields together for example go to the field and spherical field interesting you can do for example bulgy shape in anywhere of object that you want interesting use that field and then use it again in this direction in any direction that you want for example i'm creating a car here you can combine with the subdivision surface and the fields so you got the idea you can test it and experiment by yourself and you can give your object any plane effector and of course you can go to the inner parameter and change the height and the anything that you want or you can change the scale of that in a uniform but in this case it does not sense it anymore nice so you can modeling with the fields
Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.